Yo, what is going on you guys? It's your boy King Sanders here and we are back with another rebuild as of today. This is going to be a rookie rebuild. Um, I got to be completely transparent with you guys just super, super quick. Um, first of all, this is going to be a Quentin Grimes New York Knicks rebuild. Obviously, that is who they took in the first round. Um, you know, I do think that he has a lot of potential. He's got good, you know, size, 6'5". Um, he can actually score the basketball pretty well. So, um, I don't know. I do think he has potential. I don't know how well it will translate to the league. But, you know, I've been watching a lot of different highlights, a lot of different, you know, like just film and scouting reports of a lot of these different rookies. So, I've gotten to know a lot of the rookies pretty well. So, um, I do think he has potential. But, really quick... I did just want to say thank you guys so much. My Josh Giddy video hit over 1,000 views once again, just like my San Antonio Spurs one. Thank you guys for that. It truly does mean so much to me that you guys just keep clicking on the videos, keep showing so much love. Um, it's just amazing, man. I, I, it truly does mean a lot. On top of that, I'm at 91 subscribers, man. I am only 9 away from 100. If you guys could please hit that subscribe button for me so we could hit that 100 subscriber mark. Truly, that would mean so much to me. I'm so close, man. I, I just just need nine people to hit that subscribe button, and I think we can do it. I truly do. So, I want to be transparent. Um, you can call me a crappy content creator as of these past couple days. I haven't uploaded for about two or three days now, and I do apologize for that. I just, did, I just started a brand new job. I'm working as a universal banker, which means that I pretty much travel around to different um, banks in the branch and... Um, and like any anybody that needs a banker, I actually step in and help out with that. So um, for, for now, I've been working about an hour away from where I live. So, you know, I've had to get up around 6.45 in the morning, which means I usually go to bed around 10. Um, by the time I get home, it's usually 6.37. So it's definitely been pretty late. I know it's not a very good excuse. So I'm going to, as of right now, today is the 11th. So if anything changes after this day, um, you know, I do apologize, um, you know, roster wise. But I am going to crank out three videos for you guys right here. So you guys will see the same shirt. You guys will see, you know, the same clothes, same background, everything. But um, I just want to let you guys know these are pre-recorded. So first one I'm going to do is the Knicks Quentin Grimes rebuild. So we're going to hop, we're going to hop straight into it. We're going to look at the roster. The thing about this team is they are so stacked at the guard position. It, it's going to be very hard to decide what to do. Obviously, they have Derrick Rose, who is an 83 overall in this game. He averaged 20 points per game last year. Very, very solid numbers. Kimball Walker just got traded here from, or I guess technically Boston, or no, OKC agreed to a buyout, and then the Knicks signed Kimball Walker. But he, he did average about 17 points on a pretty solid squad. Will he stay? I don't know. We obviously have Emmanuel Quickly, who is going to be the future. Um, on top of that, they just drafted Miles McBride in the second round of this past draft. Um, and I do think he also has potential. On top of that, if you look at the shooting guard position, they have Alec Burks, who was an absolute bucket last year, had 15, you know, 15 points. You know, can't argue with that. Just drafted Quentin Grimes, who I think is a very solid uh, scorer. Um, they also picked up Evan Fournier this year. Evan Fournier was about a 17 point per game scorer. On top of that, they had RJ Barrett. You know, about a 16-point-per-game score. They have Kevin Knox, who's a decent little role player. He's nothing too crazy. But they also have Julius Randle. Obviously, was... I I can't remember. Give me a second. Did he... It's not going to say it on here. Did he end up winning most improved? I'm... I'm drawing a blank. I'm so sorry. I'm drawing a blank completely. But regardless, Julius Randle was very, very good this year. 23 points per game, almost 10 rebounds a game, four and a half assists, shooting 42% from the field, 31% from three, 80% from the line. They also have Obi Toppin, who's been balling out in the summer league. And, I mean, he he might have a very good chance to be a, a star on this team. I really don't know. On top of that, at the center position, they have Mitchell Robinson, super young defensive stud. They have Nerlens Noel, who played very solid last year. They also have Taj Gibson in the third rotate and like the third string center. So this team actually just has so much potential. Um, it's just really hard to try to figure out what to do because if you look at the, um, if you go ahead and look at the salary cap, right? So 
a lot of these guys are already locked up. But you look at a guy like Kevin Knox, he probably won't be brought back. But, I mean, you never really know. Um, and, you know, they're gonna, this is going to be a big one. You're going to have to re-sign Mitchell Robinson, and he's not going to take a pay cut at 1.8 mil. I can tell you that. Miles McBride on top of that. You know, um, he's going to be here for a little while. But Kimba, I mean, do we bring him back next year? Do we just keep him? Or do we do we bring him back next year? Does he do we let him walk? There's just so many question marks. So I thought about this for a for a while, and I think what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to trade Kimball Walker. I know I know that the Knicks just drafted him, or not just drafted him, just signed him. But personally, for me, here's the thing: is since this is a Quentin Grimes rebuild, obviously I want to get him a lot of minutes in that first year. Um, on top of that, it, it's going to be very, very difficult to do that when we have to play. We have to play D Rose. We have to play Emmanuel quickly. We have to play um, Quentin Grimes. We have to play Alec Burks. I mean, all these players are just getting are just like so solid. Maybe even Miles McBride. I mean, there's just so many very solid players out there um, on that roster, and. I mean, the Hawks, it's not really realistic for him to go to the Hawks. I don't think the Hawks would really want him. Um, maybe the Lakers, but I don't know. I don't know. Obviously, would love to get <laughs> Cam Thomas. The dude's an absolute bucket, but there's not really a point for that. Maybe the Pacers? The Pelicans is interesting. The Pelicans is interesting. Hold on. Let me let me let me take a look here. So they obviously they just got Devontae Graham. But Devontae Graham as a six man would be such a solid piece to the team. And they have Sadoransky, who's probably not gonna play, let's be completely honest. They have Kyra Lewis. I feel like that's a that's a decently realistic trade. I, I, drew, I truly do. So now if we take a look at our roster, we still have so many point guards um we have alec burks and clinton grimes we have rj barrett evan fournier trey murphy kevin knox uh julius randall ob so we just do we just play a huge rotation next year and i i think that's what we do let me see if i can get a team to take taj gibson real quick just so we have one last player to play. We could get a second there. Is there any team that would offer me a first? Not really. The Suns could use another big man. We'll take two seconds from the Suns. Um, so now, I mean, there's still so much guard play here. But technically, we have, let's see. So I'm going to play D-Rose. That's one. We're going to play quickly for sure, two. Um, we're going to have Alec Burks and Quentin Grimes. That's four. We're going to have R.J. Barrett, I guess, Evan Fournier, 6, Trey Murphy, 7. We're going to have 8, 9, 10, and possibly 11, but probably not. So that's probably how, how our rotation is going to go. I know that this intro, this intro is going to be super long. I do apologize about Why would this guy play over D. Rose? Why would he play over him? Why would he play over Emmanuel quickly? What? No. Okay. Um, so we're going to do... We'll go 10-man for sure. We'll go ahead and do this again. We'll put D-Rose there. I, I'm, I'm not going to... I'm not going to give any minutes to, to Jordan Bone. I'm sorry. Um, we'll, we'll move quickly to the 6-man. We'll move Quentin Grimes to the 7th man, I believe. We'll move, I like Alec Burks quite a bit. Maybe we could run Alec Burks. No, 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 no. We'll run Fournier as the starter for now. We'll run Obi Toppin as ninth man. And we will go Trey Murphy as the tenth man. I feel like this is a much more reasonable lineup. Um, maybe maybe Nerlens Noel does get some minutes. I, I wouldn't be opposed to that. Um, I just think that... With a team with as much you know young talent as this as this team has, it's just really hard to be able to. Um, maybe we should take these minutes down just a touch. We'll go 16. We'll go. F 
14. We'll go 14. We'll give some more minutes to Quickly. Obviously, he's kind of the star. We'll give one more minute here, one more minute here, and there. Okay, so I think this is the, the lineup we're going to run. I, I truly do like it. I just feel like this is a much more um, realistic kind of lineup here. Um, I do think very soon it's going to be taken over by a lot of these young guys, especially with Quickly, especially with Quentin Grimes, um, especially with Obi Toppin. Well, maybe Obi Toppin. Um, and then obviously I, I kind of, you know, traded for Trey Murphy, but if he was on this team, he would definitely be, he would definitely be an option for sure. So, um, Quentin Grimes is backup point guard and it, Alec Burks is backup small forward. So we have, you know, plenty of, plenty of, you know, depth here. So Mitchell Robinson, unfortunately is going to have to get a lot of minutes. Um, I do kind of feel for the guy, but at the same time, I just think that this is probably one of our one of our best rotations we can put together. So I'm going to sim till the end of the year and I'll see you guys there. Um, actually really quick, really quick. I think instead of Trey Murphy, I love Trey Murphy. I think he's going to do very well in this league, but maybe it might be better down the road to maybe play Nerlens Noel. Actually, no, screw that. We'll just, we'll just play Trey Murphy. All right. I'll see you guys at the end of the year. So for the first year, we weren't very good. I didn't expect us to be, but we were, you know, we just missed the playoffs. Just barely missed the playoffs. Giannis wins MVP. Kate Cunningham is your rookie of the year. John Wall, six man. John Wall, six man of the year is very interesting. I, that is not one you see very often. Anthony Davis is defensive player of the year. Devin Vassell, most improved. Um, Willie Green, coach of the year. And Cody Tool, exec of the year. So definitely a decent little, decent little uh, award race there. So let's go ahead and see. I doubt we're going to have anything maybe a third team no nothing uh do we have anything maybe mitchell robinson no absolutely nothing so that that does kind of stink um and then we do have quentin grimes and all rookie second team we do love to see that and it looks like he's turning out to be all right so far so that that is definitely a positive we didn't make playoffs but i want to take a look at stats real quick so obviously julius randall is just an absolute monster in this game um, RJ Barrett actually put up very solid numbers. Derek Rose, solid numbers. Fournier did okay. Um, actually very efficient, so can't argue with that. Mitchell Robinson, you know, oh, only seven rebounds. I definitely figured that'd be a little bit higher, but he's shooting 76% from the field. Um, Obi Toppin at about 8.4. Alec Burks about 7.3 points. Trey Murphy about 6.6 .6 points. Um, Emmanuel Quickly just over six. Uh, Quentin Grimes j just over six. And then Kevin Knox shouldn't even be getting minutes. So we're really, I mean, I feel like we're in a pretty good spot. Of course, I will have to change up maybe some shot tendencies or something like that. The Clippers win the championship. You definitely don't see that often. Uh, we'll go to league meetings here. We'll make sure all of these are rejected, which they are. We'll go to the draft lottery. We should have a decent pick. Oh, my God. We just got the number one overall pick. We just got the number one overall pick. What? Oh my, oh, I was not expecting that. I was not expecting that at all. Holy crap. Okay. Um, that's the last thing we really need is just more, um, more depth and more young talent, but Hey, what do I know? So we definitely want to make sure we get a really good trainer for such a young team. So we'll offer him about 500K. Um, on top of that, we definitely, I think I'm going to sign a new coach. I, I think I think Tibbs is a great guy. I like Tibbs, you know, especially coming from Bulls fan. But I just don't think, I just don't think, you know, he's the, he's the coach that we really need. So I guess we'll try to get Mike D'Antoni on here as well. All three of them signed. We love to see that. We will offer the CFO whatever we're able to offer him, and we will offer the scout as much as we can offer him. So hopefully they accept. Oh, of course the scout doesn't accept. Okay, that's 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 what we love to see, you know. So we will offer this guy. We'll offer him a quite a bag there. Okay, so we'll go to the NBA draft here. I don't I don't know what I'm gonna do with this pick. I I don't. It's not very often that you get the number one overall pick. That is that is for dang sure. So let's go to the prospect scouting here. There's a power forward that's a not, an A-minus overall. 
So his ceiling is Dennis Rodman. <laughs> that is very solid. Um, we'll go by the ranks here. We'll see kind of what uh, what we're able to do. Um, I was really hoping for a center. But it looks like the best center is all the way down there. I mean, this guy looks like an absolute stud. He really does. Let's let's look at his his uh, his stats real quick. So his rebounding is obviously an A. His athleticism is a B plus. Potential A plus. Um, he's he's looking like an absolute stud. But I do want to see what I could possibly get for the number one overall pick. I mean, sure we could even give up the fifteenth pick. Holy crap! Jalen Brown. Okay. Um, Carl Anthony Towns. Damian Lillard? No shot. They're offering me Damian Lillard. And CJ. I guess I could take Carl Anthony Towns and run. But then, I mean, what would I do with Mitchell Robinson? So... He's averaging more points and more rebounds, and I think more assists than than Julius Randle. But sorry, my my dog's going crazy. But um, like, holy crap, Jalen Brown. <laughs> ah, that's just so not realistic. It's so not realistic. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> let's do it. Why not? Um, we will go ahead and send it to the end here. It's it's never been a really realistic rebuild anyway, so we're not going to sign any of these guys back. We're not going to take Vildoza back. Um, qualifying offers, we're not going to extend the qualifying to either of those guys. We'll go to the moratorium. I do want to get Mitchell Robinson back. I do think that he could be a very key piece to this team. He does develop pretty well in 2K, to be honest. Um, and he does agree to that. So we're not going to have any money um, at all. And that's okay. Um, like, yeah, we literally have like four mil. So definitely, you know, nothing too great. But, I mean, our, our team is very, very solid. We were looking at Rose, Quickly, Burks, Quentin Grimes. Because I, I probably won't play Keon Johnson, to be honest. Um, I'd rather play Grimes. Um, Jalen Brown, RJ Barrett, <laughs> Fournier, Trey Murphy. Randall, Toppin, Noel, Robinson now. So, I mean, you're looking at a very, very solid team here. So we'll go to player progression real quick. We'll kind of see what's going on here. Um, for player progression, Jalen Brown gets better. Barrett gets better. Fournier gets better. Nerlens Noel somehow gets better, actually. Um, Mitchell Robinson better. Toppin better. Um, quickly gets better. Burks does go down, but it's only by one, and his three-pointer three -pointer actually got better, so... I really could care less about that. Um, Trey Murphy got better. Quentin Grimes got better. Miles McBride got better. So, I mean, realistically, what what more could you really ask for? I think we're in a very good spot with this team. I think it's just going to take time to be able to develop. Uh, we're not going to be a championship team right away. We're just we're just not. Um, obviously, Derek Rose has a plus potential. <laughs> I swear to you guys, I did not change that, but I freaking love to see it. Okay, we'll send Julius Randle there. Obviously, he's kind of the other star on this team, other than, I guess, Jalen Brown now, but I was not expecting him to be. We'll send RJ Barrett there. He's a big piece to the puzzle. And since this is a Quentin Grimes rebuild, we... Ooh, not Miles McBride. We'll send him there. He does go up to a B potential, so not too shabby. Not too shabby. So we'll go to coach game plan here. They want to run quickly Barrett, Brown, Randle, and Nerlens Noel. I would rather start Mitchell Robinson. Um... Yeah, I would rather start Mitchell Robinson, but other than that, I think that we're at a pretty solid, we just have so many players, we're just not playing. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Um, yeah, we just have so many players, we're not playing. Obviously, I have to play Quentin Grimes. It is a Quentin Grimes, literally a Quentin Grimes rebuild. So we will go ahead and take Quentin Grimes here. We will put him as the eighth man. We will give him 27 minutes, and I guess we'll 
I want to run at least a nine man. At least a nine man. We will take out. We'll give Mitchell Robinson the star. We will take down these minutes from Nerlens Noel because that's just. I mean, that's just not. That's not right. Um, and then we still have Evan Fournier, who I, I mean, he was okay last year, but it wasn't really anything great. Um, Nerlens Noel is still here, and I mean, last year he didn't play, so that, that's kind of unfortunate. But. Um, Maybe I just won't play Alec Burks this next year. I, I like Alec Burks, but maybe maybe we just shouldn't play him. So, honestly, let's go 10-man rotation. We'll go 10-man. I know I've, I've changed it twice now. We'll give Mitchell Robinson the start. This is, the, this is the last time, I promise. 24 minutes there. We will go ahead and um, take away Alec Burks' minutes. We will take down Evan Fournier's minutes. We will switch out Quentin Grimes as the seventh man. We will give him about 23 minutes. And then we will give, as the tenth man, I guess we'll give it to Trey Murphy. We'll give Trey Murphy the last 11 minutes. I like Alec Burks a lot. I just, you know, for the sake of this video, I think I want to play Quentin Grimes a lot more than, a lot more run than he has been getting. So, the last thing that I'm going to change is I am going to change some tendencies here. Mostly just shot tendencies um i do want rj barrett scoring just a touch more um derrick rose is an absolute bucket i don't really need to change anything fournier is not in the lineup so he doesn't really matter neurons noel he can get moved up a little mitchell robinson i do think he could be a much bigger piece of the puzzle um obi toppins that's fine quickly should not have that low of a shot tendency considering that he's a very solid player in real life um, so we'll move him up to quite a bit. Burks, he's not even in the rotation. Trey Murphy can be t moved up just a touch. Um, and then Quentin Grimes, obviously he's the player of the, of the video. I want him taking quite a bit of shots. So we'll move his up to 65. And that's all we're really going to do for year two. And I'm just going to sim till the end of the year. I'll see you guys there. So we're definitely moving in the right direction. We were fifth in the conference, number nine overall. Uh, so definitely not too bad. Trey Young MVP. Sixth man of the year is our boy D. Rose. Defensive player of the year, Anthony Davis. He actually won that back-to-back. -back. Most of the time, it's usually just Jonathan Isaac or Giannis. But it's kind of cool to see Anthony Davis win it twice in this video. So, most improved, Nicholas Claxton. Mike Budenholzer, coach of the year. Exec of the year, Michael Meyer. Wow. <laughs> Poor guy. Um, anyway, so any anybody on any teams? I don't think we will, but I might as well look. Nope, nothing, so... Any Knicks anywhere? No. Absolutely nothing, huh? And they had no rookies this year? What? They had no all-rookie teams. Wait. So who won... Wait. Who won Rookie of the Year? Wait. <laughs> Hold on. I am so confused. I gotta get this figured out. NBA History. Rookie of the Year. We're in 2020. Wait, so what happened? Look, if you if you look, if you go to Rookie of the Year, in 2021-2022, Cade Cunningham was the Rookie of the Year. And then there just wasn't one this past year. So that means no rookies played minutes? Can I look at the at the rookie report? Because that, that I know that's a thing. Um there it is. Rookie report. There was guys that literally played. This guy averaged almost 12, 3 and 3 on 50% shooting from the 3. 50, 40, 90 in his first year, and he didn't get rookie of the year? They just didn't give the award out or what? What's going on? I don't know what happened. But, you know, whatever. So, that was just that was just a very weird thing that I had to point out. So, our point distribution, um, Jalen Brown took a hit. So did Julius Randle. So did Barrett. But I did mess with some shot tendencies to make Emmanuel quickly shoot a little bit more. He's up to almost 12 points a night. Mitchell Robinson took a little bit of a hit, um, but his efficiency is up to 78%. Like, he literally doesn't miss. Obi Toppin is about the same. Quentin Grimes took a little bit of a jump, but not too much. Nerwins Noel took a little bit of a jump. Trey Murphy actually took a hit, um, which is kind of shocking to me. So I think what I'm going to do is... Um, since Trey Murphy's not even really on the team anyway, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go like this and like this and then move 
Fournier, since Fournier is at least on the team, and then we'll, you know, we'll move him down to 12, we'll move him down to 15, and then give the rest of those minutes to Fournier. So I think that's what we're going to do. Um, we're going up against the Sixers first round. So the Sixers, their roster is probably the same, yeah, the exact same. I mean, no moves at all. So um, they actually win in seven. Oh, my goodness. But we are trending in the right direction. Um, we at least made the playoffs this year. We were looking solid. I do love to see that. So um, we will go ahead and go to the league meetings, make sure that nothing stupid is on, and it's not. So we'll go to the draft lottery. Can we get lucky twice? No. Um, it looks like we are we have the 11th pick, though, which isn't bad, and the 22nd pick. So I will probably be trading those away, but um, I'll definitely, I'll definitely kind of kind of look around first before I just trade it away so we'll go ahead and sign this guy and we already have our a plus or a trainer so we will go here to draft night I think I'm just gonna trade these picks away I don't have any real use for them maybe we can get something solid at pick 11 for it um, I doubt it but honestly I'll just trade it for two first round picks I, I genuinely don't care we'll sim to the end here and uh, we'll take a look at, you know, what's going on. So we're not going to sign the rookie back. We have a lot of team options here. I'm going to decline Keon Johnson, decline Miles McBride just because they don't play, um, and I'm going to accept the rest of them. So we'll go to qualifying offers. I want to extend it to RJ for sure. For moratorium here, for bird rights, it's just RJ, so we're going to make sure he comes back on the, um, on the qualifying offer. So he will end up agreeing to this as soon as it goes through. So boom, and we're not gonna have any money still. We have only about five million dollars. So I don't really think of any. I can't think of any moves to be able to make anyway. So I think I'm just. Yeah, I think I'm seriously just gonna go into the next season with the same kind of like mindset. So Jalen Brown goes up. Uh, Julius Randle goes up. R.J. Barrett goes up, but it's just not really the progression that I'm kind of hoping for. Um, Quentin Grimes is still only a 73. Obviously, I've only sent him to two training camps, so that could possibly be the reason. But unfortunately, you know, I I do I, I mean I do have faith with in him like in real life. I, I really do. I just think that in 2K, obviously they did him just a just a touch dirty, um, you know, with only giving him like a B minus uh, or a B minus potential. So it's kind of kind of crap. But R.J. Barrett does go up to an A plus after that. We'll advance the next season here, and it says we're number five in the power ranks. But I just I don't really know. Um, and I guess we will just the only change I'm going to make is just take Alec Burks out, and we will put Quentin Grimes in the starting or in the as the tenth man. Um, and then on top of that, yeah, I guess we'll, I mean, Mitchell Robinson really hasn't been playing that well. Um, Nerlens Noel has been not really any better. So, I, I mean, it's kind of a win-lose situation, to be completely honest. Both of our centers are not playing to the best of their potential, which is very unfortunate. So, I don't think I'm going to make any other changes, though. I I think maybe the only change I'm going to make is drop this down. Hopefully that boosts Mitchell Robinson's stats since he's going to be getting a lot of the minutes. But I don't know. I don't know. So, that is, I mean, I'm going to just sim till the end of the year, and honestly, I'll see you guys there. All right, so we actually had a pretty solid, uh, solid third year. So we were actually second in the conference, third in the power ranks. Will we win a uh, championship? I do not know. I think I would need a couple more years for this. But um, rookie of the year goes to Dylan Graham. MVP is Giannis. Six man of the year is Jordan Clarkson. Anthony Davis is three time defensive player of the year in this in this video. That's crazy. Jalen Johnson is most improved. Uh, Willie Green coach of the year and Dylan Shaw exec. So um, I guess we'll take a look. D book is all NBA first. Holy shit! Thirty eight points a game. <laughs> No way! What? Oh my goodness! Thirty-four by Luca, twenty-seven by Giannis, twenty-nine by AD, twenty-five by Jokic. But oh my gosh! And Steph's at thirty-four, so it's not like, oh my goodness, man. But uh, Zion's at thirty-one. 
These numbers are crazy. Do we have any Knicks here? Um, I doubt it. Any defensive? No, nothing. Nothing at all. So at least we have rookies this year, though. That's uh, that's very solid. So we'll take a look at stats real quick. I don't think it'll matter too much. Jalen Brown kind of stayed around the same spot. Julius Randle went up a little. RJ Barrett went up a little. D. Rose kind of stayed the same. Toppin went up a little bit. Quickly went down. Um, Fournier went down. So I don't know. Maybe the league just got a little bit worse. I don't really know, but... We did, you know, somehow end up getting like worse, like number number wise. So we're going up against the Toronto Raptors, who now, you know, obviously they got Scotty Barnes, who is putting up solid numbers so far. You know, thirteen, seven, and five. So can't argue with that. They have the two K number god off their bench, so that's very unfortunate. Uh, Dennis Schroeder is here. OG and Anobi's here still, but OG's like the eighth man. Okay. I, I something tells me that's not how that's gonna work, but you know what do I know? Uh, they have Thad Young as like their tenth man, so you know. Oh my God, we swept them! I was not expecting that. Going up against the Pacers, who just drafted Chris Duarte, who put up really good numbers in the summer league so far. Miles Turner's here as well. Jordan Clarkson, Isaiah Jackson, Cam Johns. Holy, that's actually a very solid roster. And they took us to seven, but we actually win. So we're going up against the Philadelphia again who beat us last year in seven, and they didn't really make any teams other than adding Alex Lynn, and we swept them this year. Wow. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I have no idea. Lucas Samanich is off the bench now. Jabari Parker's off the bench. I feel like they're not as good as the Sixers, though. And we actually went in five. Okay, RJ Barrett is your finals MVP, averaging 25 points per game. So... Now that you guys have made it to the end of the video, I may just change it to the new look New York Knicks team because I wanted Quentin Grimes to work out, but realistically he was just not averaging the the points that we needed him to be. He just wasn't developing the way we needed him to be. Um, he's up to a 75 after three years. I mean, I, I was just hoping to be at least an 80 by the time we won the championship, and he was just a little bit too far from that. So... Maybe we'll change it to just a new, new look New York Knicks rebuild. So, that is going to be it for me for this video. If you guys did enjoy, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, and turn on that notification bell so you guys know whenever I post. Um, like I said, I've, I've been you know starting this new job, so I'm super sorry that I haven't been uploading recently. I'm trying to get back on the grind, though. I am only 9 subscribers away from 100, man. Please, 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 if you guys are watching this video, please subscribe to me it would mean a lot to me especially if i could hit that 100 subscriber mark so but that is going to do it for me um for now this is king stern signing out peace